All right, we got covert and overt threats. Narcissistic abusers and otherwise toxic people feel very threatened when their excessive scent of entitlement, false sense of superiority, and grandiose sale, uh, se sense of self are challenged in any way. They are prone to making it unreasonable demands on others while punishing you for not living up to their impossible to reach expectations. All right. How many times have we had to deal with that? I, I know I've probably had uh, four or five instances of something similar like that when I was uh, doing the dating thing back when I was, I was slinging seed like an old bird feeder. <laughs> but back then, the minute I got any kind of static from these women, I'm like, fuck it. I just move on. You know, and I right. just want to deal with it. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. See, yep. Rather than tackle disagreements or compromises maturely, they set out to divert you from your right to have your own identity and perspective by attempting to instill fear in you about the consequences of disagreeing or complying with their demands. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, yeah. Yay. And if, if you guys are. Name calling. Yeah, the name calling thing, but. Uh, when they're mentioning the covert narcissism thing, and women uh, often are more covert narcissists, they don't oh, come yeah. off like your typical narcissist. They they do it in a more subtle camouflage manner. They may even portray themselves as victims. Um, but for example, let's say you have a hobby, right? And that hobby mm -hmm. takes some of your time away from her. She'll she'll start acting out to get you to give up the hobby because you're not giving her enough attention. Covert narcissists exactly. are are almost worse than the overt. The overt, you can see a mile away. The covert sneak up on you. Yep. Yeah, and listen, uh, I I think I did a video on this in regards to hobbies. Like Women get jealous of a man's hobbies mm -hmm. because you're, t you're using resources and you're burning through time that you're not, you know, putting at the feet of the woman. Yeah. And, it, and it, they get really butthurt about it. Yep. I've had guys uh, have their wives call scrappers to come pick up cars. Um, no kidding. You know, they, oh yeah. Like I had another guy, she rolled his motorcycle into the front, you know, front curb in front of the house and had her friend come by and like run it over and break it. And the only reason she got busted is they had a camera. Lucky they did, man. That's crazy. Yeah. And and like literally, she was pissed because he would spend money building up this. Uh, it's basically a dragster bike, mm -hmm. and he just drive in a straight line at ludicrous speed, <laughs> and he was burning up a lot of uh, weekends, a lot of money, and she, she was done with it. Heaven so forbid he has something he enjoys. Out. Yeah, I know. I, I can't. Uh, how many times you've heard that? How dare he do that? Mm. Oh my god can't believe where's he finding the time for that yeah like, shut the fuck up <laughs> the world does yeah. not revolve around you you dumb bitch mm -hmm. i mean granted yeah your fun bags are great to speed back on you know two or three times a week but for the most part you're just another beef and cheddar and a catcher's mitt i can get another <laughs> one anytime shut the hell up <laughs> fantastic <laughs> wow. i'm serious here I'm, I'm hitting the button. <laughs> well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens. It gets me on a roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. What about, um, here's another one here. Now we're, we're doing the name calling, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. A lot of times the name calling is you hate your mother, you can't get laid, you're gay, you know. That, that is their type of name calling. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I've and, seen and, that. Uh, the minute they, they start that on you, you know you won. Yeah. Um, one, of the, one of the main things I've seen in arguments uh, that I probably shouldn't have wasted my time on, but I get online. I, I see Jimmy does the same thing too, but uh, we'll get online and we'll discuss these topics. And uh, if you bring up... Uh, modern dating and single mothers topics like that they get spun up in that the first thing is it it's either who hurts you or well you're not even in a relationship so and they assume these things 
they assume thing, uh-huh. these things. It's just it's funny to watch. Um, but again, they've you they've really lost want, legitimacy really of the want, argument. They're not talking about facts anymore. Well, the thing is, if you, I, I've had these arguments with women, and I look them in the face and go, "Kids cost money." <laughs> now you want to have a relationship with another man. You're expecting him to come off of his own money for a kid that's not his. That is not fair. It's not reasonable. And for you to expect that means you are a narcissistic asshole, in my opinion. <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> yep. Uh, and listen, I mean, it's $250,000 to raise a kid from K to 12. All right. If you have more kids, the price, I mean, the price of each kid adds on a little bit, but each one's not a quarter of a million. So typically if you have four or five kids, the first two are the most expensive and then the rest of them live on the hand-me-downs. Mm. There you go. Yep. Uh, uh, going back to name calling narcissists preemptively blow anything they perceive as a threat to their superiority, superiority out of proportion in their world. They can never be right. They, they can, they can ever be right. And anyone who dares say otherwise creates a narcissistic injury that results in narcissistic rage. And Ask I've, seen <laughs> I've seen that narcissistic rage. Mm-hmm. I really have. Uh, Ask Mark Golston, MD, asserts, narcissistic rage does not result from low self-esteem, but rather a high self, high sense of entitlement and false sense of superiority. Gee, now where have we heard that before? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's not like every single uh, feminist group that gets together and you try to tell them f- facts, logic, and reasoning. And then you get the, have, uh, I mean, more super chat to get to. We have a couple here, yeah. but it's yeah. it's not even uh, it's not even just the the feminists. But uh, I mean, look at just modern women on social media; they all have that man. Yeah. Uh, Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com/donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.